The Martin Pipe Handicap Hurdle is next then, and I'm not sure how many more of these finishes I can take. If we're only more like the last one, or the last two. Anyway, this is a two and a half mile handicap hurdle, 0 to 140. And the top one is Penelope Bitched Up for David Robertson. Parabolic of a Paul Rhodes, Polly Pop for Martin Leedham, Cute Astrid for David Robertson, Wings of the Angel, Joshua Sutherland, Colbrook Answer for Graham Clutterbuck, Yu Shindy, Wen Alex Cherry, Channel Orange, Darren Thompson, Lexington Heels, Vinnie Gerard, Confessions of an Assassin, Paul Rhodes, Jenny Jingle, Thomas Rogers, Glowing Shrew, James Shea, Lexington Performer, Vinnie Gerard, Long Hall, Graham Clutterbuck, Pashuda Polder, I'll be one and Sayashan value for Ryan Costello. So called in and away they go then in this Martin Pipe Hurdle and Lexington Heels for Vinnie Gerard, one of the first to show. Cheltenham Festival winning trainer Vinnie Gerard as they make their way towards the first of eight flights in this then, which is quite a small number of flights considering it's a two and a half miler. And Lexington Heels is in the lead from Confessions of an Assassin second and then Parabolica stable mate is third that's the great cutting across now and then Long Hall and Wings of the Angel are next looking towards the back Yushindi Wen is just the back marker alongside the leader's stable companion Lexington Performer so Lexington's all over the place and it's Lexington Heels that's in the lead from Parabolica and Confessions of an Assassin then Parabolica and Wings of the Angel and Long Hall Sayashan Value is close up then Penelope Pitstop and Cute Astrid I don't think anybody will deny David Robertson the winner after the tragedy of losing his Kono in Savage in the Gold Cup and it was unfortunately killed in a fall but it's Lexington Hills that's in the lead from Confessions of an Assassin second and then Wings of the Angel third Parabolica fourth and Long Hall fifth then Penelope Pitstop and Cute Astrid with Polly Pop in the purple and white stripes after that one of them glowing true and shower shan value and channel orange and colbrook answer as they come up past the stand and take their flight that'll be the last on the next circuit really good jump there by parabolic of the gray in third but lexington heels is showing them all a good clean pair of heels at the moment and leads by about two three lengths as they come around the big screen and go out into the country. So Lexington Hills then by three to Confessions of an Assassin second. Wings of the Angel third and Parabolica four and Long Hall five. Then comes Penelope Pitstop and Polly Pop and then Colbrook Hunters after that one and then Channel Orange and Sayashan Valley. Then Cute Astrid wider on the track. Pashu de Pold has got the rail. Then Glowing Shrew. I think I'm oh, probably widest of all. Lexington performer you Shindy Wen and finally Jenny Jingle as they all skipped over the next one. And Lexington Hills continue to lead. They've completed three of the four flights this next one will be the middle part of the jumping and as they race past the water jump and take the fourth flight lexington hills is clear of in second place wings of the angel then parabolica and confessions of an assassin long haul and Polly pop then shower shan value and channel orange getting a bit closer as well as they take the fifth that's four from home and they're all safely over that one with you shindy win now just the back marker but lexington hills is the leader can he give vinnie gerard a quick double with Wings of the Angel second, then Parabolica and Confessions of an Assassin. Channel Orange is after that, then comes Long Hall, then Sayashan Value. Polly Pops lost its place a little bit, then Cute Astrid and Penelope Pit Stop as they take the third last. A bad mistake there by Polly Pop, and that one's probably out of it now, I think, as it's dropped right out the back. But it's Lexington Heels in front, Confessions of an Assassin second, Wings of the Angel, then Parabolica, Channel Orange is creeping well around the outside, then Long Hall, Shashan Value has now suddenly gone into overdrive, then Cute Astrid, and Penelope Pitstop, Glowing Shrew still there as well. They've only got two more flights to take, and it's Lexington Heels who's still in front, Confessions of an Assassin, and Wings of the Angel. Then comes Long Hall, Shashan Value, Parabolica still there there and um, Channel Orange and Penelope Pit stop trying to get into it. So too's glowing shrew. Pashu de Polder and Cute Astrid are not out of it either. And also coming round the outside is Colbrook Answer. Over the second last they go and it's still Lexington Hills in front but they're queuing off the challenge. Long haul the first one so to do. Here comes Penelope Pit stop. Wing of the Angels is still there as well. Coming around the outside. Colbrook Answer. Pashu de Polder is also running through. So too glowing shrew but it's still Lexington Hills. Lexington Hills from Long Haul. One flight to take and it's still in the lead by about a length to Long Hall, Penelope Pit Stop and Wings of the Angel, then comes Channel Orange and Pashu de Polder, Parabolica now looks beaten, so too does Confessions of an Assassin coming down towards his final flight then, and it's Lexington Hills in the lead by about a length to Long Hall and Wings of the Angels and Penelope
Canopy pit stop. Channel Orange is behind. Then comes after that one. It's Lexington Hill still in the lead. Then now they're racing into the final furlong. It's Lexington Hill from Penelope pit stop. Wings of the Angel. Channel Orange is still Lexington Hills, but here comes Penelope pit stop on the outside. Wings of the Angels is also there as well. It's going to be another head bobber as they race up towards the line. It's virtually four in the line as they flush past the post. And I think Wings of the Angel might just have got up to take it. Channel Orange was finishing like a train on the outside. And everybody without a horse in the race or a bet on it was cheering home Penelope Pitstop as a stewards inquiry as well. The drama does not stop on Gold Cup Day at Cheltenham. We haven't had a straightforward finish for what seems like ages. And what's going to happen this time? It's Wings of the Angel keeps the race, just got up and wins it. So another one for Joshua Sutherland. That's probably got to put him in the lead, I would think, of the... Cheltenham Festival trainers. Wings of the Angel for Joshua Sutherland, the winner then. Channel Orange for Darren Thompson, second. Penelope Pit Stop for David Robertson was third. Lexington Hills, Vinnie Gerrard, what a day he's having, fourth. And Long Haul for Graham Clutterbuck was fifth. <laughs>